que eu estou vendo. Tractors. I think you guys just keep 
out of my little town here and my, I realize my camera batteries are going dead so I might shut you guys off until I get over there. For those of you who know where I'm at, it's the old FMC building over there. But anyways, I'll turn you guys on when I get over there. Okay, so anyways guys, I'm coming back from over there. I didn't uh, find anything too special. Uh, just a lot of newer like Cup Cadets and uh, there was some other cheap stuff there. There wasn't anything real good on that road. Some nice back gravel roads over there though. Anyways, I just did a big loop around. This is where I started out. Just went in this road down here and then went back in around and followed some of the gravel roads around hoping I'd find something, but didn't find anything. So we're just creeping along here at, well, I guess you can't really call it creeping, but 40 mile an hour in fourth gear. Well, a little pre-16, 1700 RPMs. Sorry about that guy, there's a car coming the other way. I had to get over. So, anyway, put you guys down for a little gear smashing. Plus, I need uh, both hands to corner around here. Well, that guy was hauling ass. Holy shit. Good 
drive that fast on the back road. He was moving. Cool. So, anyways, there's a lot more roads over there to explore around. I haven't really covered uh, this side of 119. I've gone the whole way over to New Florence looking for a spot to put. I've only ever spotted one gravely on the back road. I see a lot of Cup Cadets and stuff. I don't think it's a steep hill here. We took a little mule a little while to pick it back up in third. Now today, compared to the other video, mine and Dickers are acting up today. Uh, the only reason I can tell you that is, is when I push the clutch in, the throttle goes up a little bit before it goes down. It's kind of odd. So, anyway, hopefully the camera battery isn't dead yet. Watching this big truck make the corner here. Looks like he's just learning to drive, so I'm sure he'll be going slow. He's probably going down here, down here to the power plant. Oh yeah, he's going slow. He's on the jig brake too. You guys probably won't be able to hear it. I guess I had the radio on while I was talking to you guys. I don't think it won't go too far. It'll just go to the Hummer City Power Plant up here. I would think. Yeah, that's where he's going. Oh, well, you guys can't see the Homer City Power Plant from here, otherwise I'd pick you guys up and show you, but... putting up with me rambling on. Uh, hopefully the last down here, not too far, there's a bunch of junk off the left up here, you guys. What the heck this guy here is doing? Oh, he must have just been waiting for me to go by. I think when people are waiting on the other side for me to go by, they put the turn signal on, they're going to turn, but they don't. Some people in Pennsylvania, I swear, do not know how to use their signals. I mean, they put turn signals in vehicles for reasons. Use them, people. A little bit of a rant there, but... Some people don't know how to use their turn signals. It's almost like they don't work. Anyways, the stuff should be down here. Yeah, this guy here, hopefully you guys can see some of that. Got a bunch of stuff. <laughs> hey, 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 I'm coming back into town. Uh, just gonna cross over the railroad tracks on Power Plant Road. So, thanks for watching, guys. See you later. Too bad we didn't see any uh, good old Gravely tractors. Or anything for that matter. So, uh, I'll see everybody later. Okay, guys, well, I'm back home. I'm gonna leave you with this uh, tidbit. Uh, for everybody who watches all my videos, good for you guys, but uh, I know a lot of you don't. A lot of you uh, are just there for certain tractors or, you know, whatnot. Very. Anyway, uh, this rain is supposed to turn to snow. Uh, temperatures have dropped a lot. Um, I think I told you guys when I left, the temperature was like 36 degrees out last night, so it was pretty cold. 
Uh, it's not real cold, but you guys know what I mean. Anyways, that would be how to uh, wash a little mule. The underside got washed pretty good. You can see starting to peel out right away there, but oh well. So, thanks for watching, guys. I don't know what kind of camera footage I got, and I'll see you later.